So Damiano, Mobile World Congress might not be taking place this year, but the Glomo Awards are, and Airspan's nominated for one. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, absolutely. We're really excited to uh, have been nominated with our partners uh, Rakuten and the, you know, the Rakuten ecosystem for Open RAN, virtualized cloud native, um, cloud native network, which is a world's first. And you know, we're, the fact of the matter is, is that while a lot of people have been talking about what's been going, you know, the promise of Open RAN and what it can deliver, we've actually been busy executing on that. And uh, we're on track this year to do uh, tens of thousands of cells in millimeter wave, uh, as well as uh, thousands of 4G hotspots, which are already live today in, in, in central Tokyo. Let's talk a little bit more about Open RAN broadly, and then more specifically about Rakuten. 2020 seems poised to be a big year for development of the Open RAN ecosystem writ large. And I'm just kind of curious to get your perspective on how Airspan fits into that and help me contextualize the broader themes around shifting network economics and driving innovation by breaking away from vendor lock-in. Sure, absolutely. So um, as Airspan, we are members of the ORAN Alliance. Uh, we participate in the TIP forum. We are 3GPP and small cell forum compliant. So we support all of the functional splits uh, that the market offers. The, the fact is that operators will be able to significantly save on their TCO by, by virtue of the fact that there's no vendor lock-in. And that means that they can take various elements from various parties. Now, as Airspan, what we offer is uh, a complete software and hardware solution for the RAN, layer two, layer three, layer one, uh, as well as award-winning um, form factors in terms of uh, outdoor and indoor uh, uh, solutions on, on the radio. And it, what, we, what we can do by offering one or if not all of those, 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 those elements is we can disrupt the, the traditional dynamics that a lot of operators are, are beholden to with, uh, with the larger vendors. So one of the general criticisms that you hear around Open RAN is that the technology is not really ready for prime time and to date has just been relegated to sort of small pockets of networks and a lot of rural projects. That's not really the case though. The scale is not an issue and I think you guys are bearing that out right now. Absolutely and we've proven that with, with Rakuten uh, in, in the last few months and we're on, on well underway to do that in, in 5G in, 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 in 2020. The, the beauty of, of a virtualized network is that it's scalable and that same solution can work in a rural environment for a, a public environment in a dense urban city or for a private network. So you're able to uh, take advantage of all of that functionality at scale from day one. And that's why what Rakuten is doing and what we are helping them achieve is so revolutionary. So Rakuten is working towards a 4G network launch and that's significant in terms of Open RAN in that the transition path is fairly clear once they decide it's time to turn up commercial 5G services. But can you help me understand what that movement looks like and how Open RAN and virtualization eases that transition? I think it has to do with the fact that when you have a lot of benchmarking that you can translate from your 4G deployments into your, into your 5G deployments, it allows you as both an operator and a vendor to address problems which are inherent already to, to that sort of deployment. You know, whether it, a dense small cell network is something that you know, we are one of the few, if not the only vendors to have done in 4G, uh, and bringing that learning to a 5G deployment is something that we can leverage from day one. Uh, it's, it's a question of using the, 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 inherent, uh, the inherent skill set that you're developing over time, and there's no, there's no real substitute for in-field experience. So Damiano, give me the big picture here. As Open RAN develops throughout 2020 and Airspan works to really drive these technologies to market, what are your expectations and what is your strategy? So whether operators choose to take our end-to-end -end RAN solution, which is a fantastic choice, we, we're, we're happy. But when we see the, the ecosystem starting to embrace a multi-vendor environment, that's where operators can really start to leverage uh, the TCO savings from, from disrupting the, the value chain and the supply chain. Um, we think that we have, first of all, in-field experience that we'll be, we'll be able to leverage in that space for operators, but 
most of all, we have 25 years of experience developing software and hardware solutions for radio. So we're also poised to deliver peace of mind in, in executing that, which I think is fundamental. We're excited for what we've already achieved. We're excited for what we are on track to deploy and deliver this year, and we're looking to bring that to the rest of the world. And while you see our competitors talking about what's possible in Open RAN, we're going to continue to execute, stay busy, and keep our heads down and bring that to the rest of, uh, rest of our industry. Thank you.